All right, I got my ADE Optics micro dot sight for my Glock here. Got it dialed in since the last video I made. Got some pumpkins set up there. Yeah, so as you can see, this thing works pretty good. So a little update here on this AED Optics RD3-006B. I shot probably a hundred rounds through this today, and I just noticed, because I'm getting done for the day, I can't get it to turn off. This is usually done by holding the button down till it turns off, which it is not doing. And I also noticed it's loose. Now, I'm not saying this is from the optic itself, it's probably from the Glock mounting plate system that I'm using to mount it to the rear of my slide. I even applied blue Loctite to it and it still came loose, so... I don't know if I should have went with red Loctite or what, but it's pretty odd to me that I can't get this thing to turn off. And I probably only put about, I don't know, 500 rounds through it since I bought it, and it's already not working, so yeah, I guess I'll have to take it apart and pull the battery out when I get home, because I'm not going to bother doing that right now. Just wanted to update the situation while I'm on scene. It's been a few days since this optic quit working on me and see this is how loose it was. Now the optic itself is not what's loose it's the mount that's mounted to my slide but for some reason the optic quit working I'm not sure if that's related to it being so loose or what but we're gonna go ahead and I just wanted to get me taking this apart on camera in case I discover something in the process of doing so. So let's go ahead and take this thing off of here. And I had applied a blue Loctite to this section that attaches to the mount itself and as well as blue Loctite to the mount. I don't see anything abnormal. And as you can see, that is extremely loose, and I even applied blue Loctite to it, so I guess I will try red Loctite and see if I have some more success with that. Yeah, you can even see where I put the Loctite on there, on the threads. Decently fair amount of Loctite, blue Loctite, so I'm surprised it was able to come loose. I'd probably put in, I don't know, maybe five, six, seven hundred rounds through it since I got it. So I wouldn't have thought that that would have been enough to loosen it, but apparently it was, so. I guess red Loctite it's gonna have to be until I get this figured out I'm just gonna go ahead and put my iron sights back on but see there's some of the Loctite right there on the end of the slide so nothing seems out of place to me here except for one thing I still need to test the battery although I do not think that's the issue because it was 
on, but I couldn't turn it off. So it was malfunctioning before it eventually just turned off and wouldn't turn back on. So I will test that battery, but it looks like... Let's see if I can get an up-close shot of this. There are these two contact points right there and there. It looks like possibly the contact point on the left, which goes to the power on and off button, it looks like it came free from the solder that attached the wire to the button itself. So I think that may be what the issue is. Let me try to zoom in on it. Yeah, so that wire is supposed to be attached to that node contact node there, and it looks like there's a split right where it's soldered in. And this side seems to be fine. So I'm gonna investigate further, see if that's what it is. And if that is the case, I will try contacting ADE Optics. I don't know if this thing is under warranty or not. I got it on Amazon, uh, I don't know, like six months ago or something like that. So hopefully it could be returned, so. Okay, so I'm going to remove this front plate so I can verify for sure whether that contact point where it's soldered came loose. Because it's too hard to tell with the case on. Okay, here's a moment of truth. I'll try manually hitting the button, see if maybe this was obstructed somehow and it wasn't pushing in far enough, maybe? It's the only other thing I can think of is pushing this rubber thing in wasn't going far enough in to engage that red button right there. So I just got it to turn back on. If you see this faceplate right here is slid over more to this side, there's a circle gap right there. So what I did was I slightly pushed it over this way to the left and then it all of a sudden turned back on. So let's see if it adjusts the brightness. Yeah, see, this is the same issue that I was having. Oh no, it did turn off there. Okay, there we go. So I think it the contact point where it was soldered was just loose. So I have fixed that now. I'm assuming if it was the solder point that was loose, when I slid this back over, it made contact with it again. So all I did was slide it over that way, and that seemed to fix the problem. I would hope it would be more secure than that, but apparently, I guess when you pay $70 for a micro dot, this is what you get. Yeah, it's working now. And now it's not working. Oh no, it is. It's just so dim to see, because the light's on. Okay. But I will contact ADE about this issue and see if they can send a replacement or see how their customer service works about this issue because I don't feel comfortable putting this back on my firearm if it's just going to malfunction again. So I'm going to go ahead and reattach this plate and see if that's what it was. Okay, now let's see if it works. Yeah, see, now it's not working again. Yeah, so I'm almost getting the impression that it is this thing. This thing is not allowing me to turn it on and off. Because I left it on before I put the cover back on. And it's still on, but now it's not adjusting the brightness. Basically, the button is not working which means this is not going in far enough to do what it's supposed to do.
besides this button issue, the optic, in my opinion, it worked perfectly fine and I was totally happy with it. So it's just this one minor issue. As of today, Sunday, October 3rd, I sent an email off to ADE Advanced Optics explaining the issue and I will make another second update video telling you guys what response I get from the company, whether they're willing to replace it or what my options are. So just wanted to end the video on that note. I will post another update video and thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you like my content and have a good rest of your weekend.